This video shows schools how to apply for a timetable variation to reschedule a Key Stage 2 test by up to five school days. Please note that you need to complete pupil registration before submitting any timetable variation applications. First, sign into the Primary Assessment Gateway. Select the My Activity tab, then Available Activity, followed by the Timetable Variation application. On this first screen, you'll see some instructions and a link to the timetable variation guidance on gov.uk. You can apply to reschedule a test if a pupil is ill, has an important appointment, or an unavoidable absence on the scheduled test day. Select Start to begin your application. At the top of the page, you'll see information about you and your school. Select whether your application is for an individual pupil, a partial cohort, or the whole cohort. For an individual pupil or a partial cohort, there is a drop-down list containing the Key Stage 2 pupils registered for the tests. You can type a pupil's name to narrow down the list. Then, select a pupil. If your application is for a partial cohort, select Add Pupil to select further pupils. Next, select the test you would like to reschedule. You must select the new date and time that you want to administer the test. You can select Add another test to include multiple tests within the same application form. Press Verify. This will check the information you've entered. Then click Next to proceed. On this page, select the reason for the absence from the list. If a pupil is ill, do not make your application until they've returned to school. If the pupil has been ill, we will ask you to confirm that they are back in school and are well enough to take the test. If you select Appointment or Other, you will need to give further details. We will not approve applications for family holidays, staff training events, field trips, temporary exclusions or any unauthorised absence. You must provide assurance that the security and integrity of the tests will be maintained. Answer each question using the Yes or No buttons. You must confirm that you are the head teacher or that you have delegated authority to make the application. Review the form carefully and submit. In this example, the application has been approved. It met the criteria and you could administer the test on your chosen date and time. In this example, the application has not been approved. The reason for rejection will be displayed on this page. The pupil is not eligible for a timetable variation and you should mark them as absent on the test attendance register. In this example, the application is awaiting a decision. Do not administer the test until you've received an outcome. Your submitted application will be in In Progress Activity. You can see the application by clicking on View. If we need to ask for more information about your application, you'll receive an email asking you to sign in to the Primary Assessment Gateway. You will then see a new form in your Outstanding Activity section called Timetable Variation Provide More Information. You must select Edit. Review the message. Provide a response. Then select Next to proceed. On the following pages, you will see the application you previously submitted. Click Next to proceed. Then submit your response. This page confirms that your response has been sent and your updated application is now awaiting a decision again. You will receive an email confirming submission of your application and a further email to notify you when a decision has been made. This email will not contain personal details of the pupil or the application outcome. You can see the outcome of your applications in Completed Activity by clicking on the chain link icon and selecting View. You can save and print letters for your own records, but you must not send them with your pupil's test script for marking. Guidance about timetable variations is on gov.uk. If you have any queries, please contact the National Curriculum Assessments Helpline. Or you can message us in the Primary Assessment Gateway for advice about a specific pupil's needs.